I'm just so darn excited. I'm just sitting here and I'm watching the clock tick and talking and, and ticking and talking and it's it's almost oh we're gonna know soon here we go here we go here we go tick tock tick it. oh 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 oh, oh. <clears throat> It's time. It's time for another exciting episode of the ta da ta da ta da burning bench. I'll be right back. Well, that's, that's one way to start a show. Got your attention, I hope. Anyway, uh, this is the first show of 2016. My goodness. Um, this is my 41st Christmas season, and I survived it. Um, barely, but I survived it. My wife didn't see me for a couple days. <laughs> or barely. We kind of passed, like, ships in the night. I was getting up, she was going to bed, so, but, you know, it is what it is. I remember when I first started, I, uh, my first supplier, there was a gentleman that worked there, and his name was Howard Matt, sadly he's passed on, but Howard was a wonderful guy, but, anyway, I went there probably my first, second, third time uh, to get supplies, and there was an old gentleman there, and I'll never forget this, little guy, little guy. Uh, probably barely five foot, if in my imagination, uh, the way I remember him, dressed to the to the nine, nice suit, everything. And Howard introduced me. He says this is his fortieth year on the workbench, and he's going to retire this this year. And I thought to myself, man, I'd like to be able to work this bench for forty years. Well. This is, I'm just starting my 41st year. Now, I don't dress to the nine. I did in the beginning, I really did. I used to wear a three-piece suit to work every day. and and uh, uh, But that's kind of night. I got it, got them too dirty all the time. So I just went to black tees. And it works for me. But, uh, and I'm not near as shriveled up and old as that other guy was. So I might be able to make 50. Let's hope so. Anyway, today, I am going to show you how to repair a Chevron. Um, by the way, Happy New Year. And I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Okay, I'm back now. Uh, anyway, we're going we're gonna to repair two Chevrons. Uh, we have a Chevron here and a Chevron here that are in desperate need of repair. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to uh, repair chevrons. Let me get my eyes closed so I can see. Uh, I used to take and uh, just get a square piece of stock the same size and just solder from going down on top like this. But I have found uh, through uh, trial and error, it's better to take a thin piece of uh, sizing stock or, or maybe just roll a piece which hopefully uh, in this episode I am really going to get to the rolling mill and uh, the uh, uh, pull some wire, show you how to pull some wire. Uh, but uh, right now what I've done is I, I've, I've got an old piece of sizing stock, uh, actually an old piece of shank, and I'm going to take and put, when I build it I'm going to lay that shank down like this. and right on top the chevron and then I'm going to uh, rebuild it that way. What I find is that it's a, a, a better, cleaner uh, repair doing it that way. So I guess I need to get started. For Christmas one of my friends got me this cool fire starter. I'm so used to using a, just a, a lighter as you've seen in past episodes and this is really cool because what you do is just Ta-da! And I'm still looking for my lighter. 
have it, but it's, it's pretty cool. Thank you, Tom. So I'm going to get some fire going. Fire. Not, not near as explosive as what we started out with, but take that fire. We got that fire going. And we want to make sure that we have some yellow gold solder up there. Okay, let's cut some solder. Need to take and get some tweezers. Okay. We are ready. I always do, you know, a, a pre-fit and make sure that I'm set up and everything's at the right height and I can balance myself, uh, stabilize myself on my bench pin. Oh, I got a new bench pin for Christmas. You know, I kind of hate it in a way because I get so used to the other bench pin. And you can see that, I don't know if you remember, if you look at older episodes, my other bench pins are like maybe three inches long, two inches long. Um, it started out this long. So about every year or so, I, I, I get a new bench pin and uh, I hate it because then I got to break it in and, and it just, but I, once I break it in, I really like it. It's, it's, it's good. Okay. I am ready, ready, ready. Set that up there. Gonna get some solder. Let's get a little flux on this. First, I'm gonna melt the solder. Um, I think maybe I should turn this so you guys can see it. Let's get it down here. See, what I've got, I'm cheating. I have a monitor down here. That's why you see me in my videos looking down all the time. I have a monitor down here, so that way I can really adjust this so I can see it. So we can, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. That's the secret. I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> See, I've given away all my secrets. Okay, so let's get this solder melted. Okay, it's melting now. Now, see, I've got have my piece right on top, and I'm preheating that. So when I come down here, whoopsie, ring turns. Okay, that looks good. I always like it when it when it works out good. Uh, now I'm gonna take and cut this. So I got the first piece on. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna turn the ring. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
Whoopsie. Okay. As you can see, got my pieces on. Let me trim this piece. The next step is to trim these up, but I'm going to have to refocus the camera a bit. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to share with you a, a, a little clip I took uh, uh, while I was fly fishing on a local lake. I think you're going to really enjoy it. And this is an effort to keep things moving, keep things interesting, because as I said earlier, jewelry is a bit of a dry subject. So hope you enjoy this. I think you will. It's pretty dynamic. All right. I'm going to adjust the camera. And I'll be right back. Enjoy! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Pretty exciting, wasn't it? In keeping the excitement rolling on, we're gonna trim this ring up. I'm going to get my needle file. And this is what I like to use on this. And I'm going to take and take my side cutters and, and cut this a little closer. Alrighty then. Let's get started. And what I like to do first is I like to kind of level this to, a, to the old chevron. So now we can see, you can see that it's taking shape. We're getting that, that square, outside square that we have that I have on the, the other two chevrons. Once I get this, the back side, then I like to take and trim the edges the same width. So I'm gonna trim these edges. Taking shape, you can see now that we're almost there. The next step is, is trimming the front side. This one, and, and you know, you rough it in and you'll, you'll have to go back to your uh, outside and, and, and just trim it until it's very equal to the other ones, as close as you can get it. And then what I need to do after I get this trimmed out all the way, is get the height. And as I bring these down, I'm only going to have to trim them and match them a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. See, so you can see that I am almost at the same, same height as, as the uh, existing chevrons. As you go along and get more experience, um, you'll see how when people wear rings, very rarely 
do they wear them one way and then to then wear them the other way i have a tendency to always wear them the same way so you are going to see that a ring will have great prongs great tips uh, on one side and yet almost flat to none on the other side um that's the outside when 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 a ring is worn like this this gets all the wear the insides um don't get as much wear and um isn't that exciting to know i think it's just exciting 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 One of my stores said they're going to take me to the beach. I don't think they meant the ocean. Kind of like when you, when you, when your kids and your parents say, "We decided to take Rover to the to the to the farm." He went to the farm, and he's going to be a lot happier there. And you know, we're young, we're 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 gullible, and we believe him. But when we grow up, we realize it wasn't the farm. <laughs> Alrighty then. Do a little. Now, you can see that this, this V prong, our chevron, has just what the name implies kind of a, a, a chevron shape or V. But our new ones don't have that shape. So you might want to know how we're going to get that shape. Well, I could say I'm magic and I just lay it on the bench pin like this and I go, Chevron shape, Chevron shape, Chevron shape. And in most cases, you would believe me because I it is a credible way to do it. However, uh, there's a different way and it's, it requires a little bit more manual labor. Uh, and we are going to get out of our vast array of uh, bits, we're going to get a, it's called an inverted cone. Let me get a larger one so you can see it a bit better. Uh, it's an inverted cone and it's flat on top and this will we'll be able to cut out, cut in our, our chevron shape from that, the inside V. So, to the Fordham. So, I'm gonna get my microscope here. And you can still see me on the video. That's good. Yeah, had to check it. Okay. Look like I know what I'm doing. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and number two. Okay, a little bit more trimmings required. We need to cut it back just a little bit.
take, match the level, and do a little extra trimming. Kind of bevel the back side of it. things left to do yeah 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 that's right that's right I get to polish it I get to throw it in the ultrasonic I get to steam it I get to wrap it up and I get to send it on out alrighty then well I'd like to apologize I didn't get to showing you how to roll siding stock or pull wire but in episode 10 I'll cover that and much, much more. Till then, work safe, and thanks for tuning in.